You gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Cole Smith from Vancouver Streetwear Community. Uh, the definition of hype to me personally is something that gets you super excited. So no matter what product it is, kind of what brings you hype in life. So depending on what you're interested in, what your interests are, when a product comes out, it gets you super excited and stoked to get your hands on it. That's kind of what hype is to me. I'm Herman Puschel. I've been a contributor to VSC for a couple of years now and just recently started working with them as a content creator. Hype to me, as I like if, if, ever since I was young, it's been the shit that you that you want that other people can't get. The, you know, the, the, the kind of stuff where if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. So on November 10th, VSC is presenting its fourth event, Hype City. It's going to be taking place at the Vancouver Convention Center. It's going to be just a, a huge conjunction of sellers, buyers, traders, with some DJ work and booths and giveaways and stuff. It's going to be one of the best events Vancouver is going to have to offer. It's going to be tight. I'm stoked to see everyone in the community be a part of it, put some faces to some names. Like It's kind of like the red carpet of Vancouver. Just some of the best of the best the West Coast has to offer. We are here to establish ourselves as the sneaker streetwear heads of Canada. Not, not, not Vancouver, of Canada. So Hype City is our premier streetwear and sneaker event here in Vancouver. It's actually been our fourth event this year. It's a place where people who are super interested in streetwear, sneakers, art, different street, and street culture can come together and kind of share their passion with different peers. We also have a bunch of different businesses that come out. We have 50 different tables this year with businesses from in town, consignment shops, out of town consignment shops, local brands, local vendors, and just a, a place where everyone kind of come converge together and buy, sell, trade the different sneakers and things they're interested in. It is gonna have some of the best buyers, sellers, and traders that the community has to offer. And it is gonna be music curated by Blueprint. There are gonna be uh, giveaways, just a huge, a huge new trading pit that we're adding. It is just gonna be a regrouping and a centering of our community to move forward onto the next platforms. It's a place where people can come together and share the culture of streetwear and sneakers more than just a everyday buy, sell on the groups and stuff like that, come together and see their peers who are interested in the same things as them, share, learn about stories, learn about different shoes, the things, the history behind them, and just kind of really dive into their passion instead of just buying and selling shoes all day. So VSC started a very small group of people. We actually met on Reddit. Um, and then we decided we needed like a bigger marketplace to be able to come converge. And at that point, um, a lot of people were asking for an event, things like that. They wanted a place to come and actually see their peers in real life and kind of interact with them. So we ended up making Hype City an event for them where they can come together and actually see each other in real life and make it more than just like a Facebook group. So the first event that we held was with Vancouver uh, Sneakerheads group. We kind of leaned on them to give us a little bit of experience with how to host an event. And we had our very first one. It was pretty small. We had about uh, 70 tables, but I mean, they're a different experience. It's more of, you know, local communities selling their items, things like that. So not as much of a premium experience to, you know, kind of find items you wouldn't see every day, experience things you wouldn't normally see on different groups. And as of then, it's just kind of grown and grown every year to be kind of more of a place where brands and people will come to kind of showcase what they have and just I'd be able to show different like avenues of streetwear because every store kind of has its own way of you know developing this culture and just kind of showing their way through it so it's interesting to see all people come together and share such a different side of streetwear from every single different point. My experience in Hype Cities uh, 1 through 3 where I went from uh, attendee to buyer to seller now to contributor. <laughs> We started hosting Hype City because we really wanted a place where we can come see all these people we see in our community because we started a group uh, just two years ago and all of a sudden it kind of blew up and we have over 30,000 members so it's cool to see all those kind of different people come together and even if it's you know they're from Richmond or different places in the country they can kind of come together and just kind of share something they're all interested in. People kind of drive down from Edmonton, they come from the island to come enjoy it. And it's just cool to see all these people super happy just interacting with each other and have a place to, you know, really enjoy the things they're interested in than just typing on a keyboard online.
this type city with the with the table sellers we looked to completely narrow it down to the ones that don't do this as a pastime but do this as for a living the ones that are are able to get the more hard to get items in large quantities instead of like having like a professional more more organized table next to some kid who has like three eight at eight eight point five out of ten shoes we we have it more organized we'll be do it for as, a, as like a living you know do their thing so for hype city 4 we've improved the experience a ton we've added actually a new trading pit so the trading pit's kind of a place where you can go to bargain with your like fellow sneakerheads and streetwear enthusiasts um you know at a table people have set prices things like that when you enter the trading pit that kind of all breaks away people are more willing to you know make trades you can trade for more items you actually want to buy you could even low ball maybe get a different good steal in, in the trading pit and um, there it gives you a little more of like a one-on-one -on -one experience to really interact with your fellow consumers and just see what they're buying at the event see what you've bought maybe you want to make a trade you know really you never know what you're gonna find the trading pit and that's kind of what the cool thing about it is because it's just a whole community of people coming together to share different items they are interested in we've also added a huge buyout section this year from a brand called stay fresh where we actually film the video right now they're gonna be there buying items all day so if you want to cash out different things you brought to the event you can go there sell them and spend your money elsewhere in the event and go buy some stuff that really interests you um, we've also added a lot more brands such as the girl section featuring queens and a few other brands there to sell a little more of an experience to the female uh, people who are coming to the events and that's going to be a nice like add addition to it in my opinion and then also we have just like a lot more and a lot more premium tables we have uh, companies flying from Toronto Hotbox they were trying to open up a store here so that's going to be cool to have like another company coming out to kind of test the waters see how they're doing um, and just like a lot more kind of just everything compared to just like you know hype it's going to be a lot more vintage there's a lot more different things like that so I'd say at this event you're kind of getting a little more of a whole experience than you were before so it's going to be a great time to see you know over 2,000 people come out and just have like a great time enjoying the things they love. The message I want to uh, get across to everyone is that we are a community you know what I mean I want this to be a great uh, chance for everyone to bring us together you know push the community onto newer platforms bigger platforms and to show off Vancouver as to what we have well now it's time to everyone to gather together and let's celebrate what we've built you know it all like it started off as like a group meetup of some random kids on Reddit and now it's a uh, like 30,000 plus member group of all these faces and kids you know so let's just bring it all together let's let's unify the family let's let's stake our claim as like the hype like like the hype central of Canada like who does it better than us This year, VSC has worked really hard at curating like a super premium experience for our vendors. Experience the culture and just really learn about the things that are going behind the scenes. Uh, learn a little more about businesses, things like that work. And just really like, diving into the culture of streetwear and showing how close-knit Vancouver is because we have a very unique culture here where people are in a 30,000 member Facebook group. A lot of places don't have this. Toronto has a huge scene, but everyone there isn't in a huge Facebook group. The biggest group there has 10,000 members, yet their population's higher than ours. So we really want to show how close-knit and just like how everyone can really interact in like a really tight-knit community and make this more of back into a street culture thing than just a street where buying and reselling culture because it's kind of what it shifted to and we kind of want to help shift it back to where people are really enjoying the clothes they wear and really enjoying the shoes they wear because that's what we feel is important and we feel Vancouver has a really leading scene to be able to show that to the country. We are one, we are the community, you know? It's everyone that attends, everyone that's there, everyone that contributes, it that makes it what it is. So let's show off. So for perks, we're going to definitely have a lot more merchandise this time. We're going to have pins, tote bags, some stickers you guys can pick up, and as well as giveaways happening every half an hour to hour. Whether that be a high value item or a low value item, you definitely want to stick around and find out what they're going to be. It could be a super rare off-white shoe, it could be a Supreme accessory, it could be a Supreme box logo, you really don't know. So definitely come to the event, stick around for the whole time frame of the event, which runs from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are having lots of giveaways. Stay Fresh is hooking it up big this year. So uh, Stay Fresh helps out a lot with Hype City. They've been at every single one the past three. 
and they've had a different few different like perks every time they've come. One time they've done a retail sale, sometimes they've done items that really nobody's seen. This time they're bringing a whole different experience to the bio table. So they've done a lot to help us out and they just actually opened a pop-up shop Civic Center here. So if they come check them out, it's right across from the Microsoft store just below Nordstrom. Yeah, so for tickets this year, we actually have available in physical copies and online. So for physical copies, we're selling them at Stay Fresh, which is located in Pacific Center, and Not For Sale, which is located on Water Street. I um, mean, definitely check the shops out. They're $25 a piece. And then online, we also offer a VIP package, which is $30 a piece, and it comes with a free pin for you, as well as a free lanyard, as well as you get into the event an hour early. So the event runs from 12 to 6 p.m. for regular attendees and 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. for VIP attendees. So that allows you to get into the event first, see kind of some of the steals and different deals that the vendors are offering out, and gets you kind of a more VIP experience to be able to shop with just a few customers inside of this event instead of you know thousands of people. So definitely check those out and the links are actually in the description for the online tickets and then as well definitely check out Stay Fresh and NFS on Instagram for anything you guys are looking for physical copies. Herman from Vancouver Streetwork Community signing off here at Stay Fresh. Come check out our, our event Hype City 4 at the Vancouver Convention Center November 10th from 11 to 6. Hard copy tickets are available at Stay Fresh NFS and the Bulldog Cafe. Just want to thank you guys for watching the video and we really hope to see you on November 10th at Hype City 4 located at the Vancouver Convention Center and thank you to Stay Fresh for having us get in your store today to tell everyone the information about the event coming up and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.